Hey everybody, David R. Becker here with Becker Art, and I have a great new tool that I want you to know about. This is a tool to make lines in watercolor and also with masking fluid, with paint, with everything that's liquidy, you can make a line. And before, remember we used to always use, I told you about how to use, uh, make a line with a rigger, make a line with a, what is it, a ruling pen, make a line with an inkwell pen. All these three, I've always told you to make lines with these three different instruments. Well, look at this. Now, <laughs> I just found this tool. I'm um, actually a lady in my Bagley workshop told me about it. And it's called, what is it called? It's a fine line painting pen. A fine line painting pen. And it has like a little cup and this little area here. You fill it up with paint, uh, masking fluid, whatever you can think of that's liquidy and you want to write with. They actually use it for like a liquid gold. They use it this for calligraphy. Now they make it different sizes. So this one is a 0.05. They make these, I bought these two. I kind of like the bigger one better. These are smaller. So um, these are these are 2 point, 0.25. This is a 0 0.5, um, but they're a little bit smaller. So you can see it's a little bit smaller. To, it doesn't hold as much liquid. So it's the same type of thing. Just It's just smaller and it doesn't hold as much liquid, which I guess, you know, it's fine if you're just doing a short thing. I kind of like the big, bigger one, and it also comes, this one comes like if it gets clogged. So let's say it gets clogged with masking fluid or even ink and you kind of didn't dry, um, wash it well, um, or you didn't wash it well. And so here, look, it has a little pin in this handle and you just put it in there, clean out your little, the little part where it puts out the paint or masking fluid, and you just put it back onto the handle and there you have it. This one now doesn't have it in the handle. This one comes with it. See, it kind of comes with it. And it's a little pin that comes with these things so you can clean them out if it does get um, dirty and get clogged. Um, but let me show you how to use it. This thing is just amazing, absolutely amazing. And so let me just start out and then I'm, I'm gonna try it out with um, with alizarin. Let's try it out with alizarin, just pick up a kind of a red. I'm just gonna take this, fill it up. I'm just making a lot of water, a lot of pigment. Just taking my brush across it. Just kind of fill it up with water and pigment like you would the ruling pen. Kind of do the same thing you do in the ruling pen. Now this thing go though lasts for a really, really long time. So you can just start, you know, a lot of times you just tap and get this piece of black paper out of here. I'll show you how to use white too. And so I'm just gonna start and I'm just gonna write my name. I mean, look at this thing. Isn't that amazing? This is um, rough. This is cold press watercolor paper. So it's, it's a little roughness onto it. How about the ruler? You know, just take the ruler and look at this thing. You just use it like a regular pen. Boom. And I'm, I didn't put a nickel underneath there, a quarter, because it doesn't have it. This time you don't have to do that. Look at this. You can just go right here. It doesn't, it just makes a super powerful straight line. Didn't have to lift my ruler or anything. Just went right down and just you know, right to the edge of it and boom, it's done. Now, isn't that amazing? And look at how many, uh, how much I can do. I don't have to keep on filling it. Of course, that was for my ruler, I messed it up. <laughs> and so um, anything I wanna do, little dots, look at this little dots with masking fluid or whatever. And this again, this is a um, 0 0.5. This is a 0 0.5 one. And so that's a pretty fine line. And so you can use this for like, um, you know, telephone wires in a scene. Um, what else can you think of that you need a line for? Um, a fence, a, um, a um, barbed wire fence, you know, and stuff. And look at this. If I go quickly, I'm kicking, picking up the texture. If I go slow, I can make it a little bit less um, textury. Because this is like if you're having a fine sheet of paper, that's fine. And I rinse it out. I'm just going to put it into water, rinse it out. I'm going to try it with white. Let's try it with white paint on a black, on black paper. Because, you know, I like black um, Holbein not hold my um, Stonehenge Aqua Black. I'm just going to take white, take a lot of water, and just fill it up. I have a little bit of pink in here from my last time I used this, and actually from the aqua, or from the alizarin that I had in the water. So it's not going to be totally super white, but white enough. And so I'm just going to start writing. Look at that. Is it that? Uh, oh my gosh. I got so excited when I saw this. And thank you to the lady who um, brought it up when I was in my Bagley workshop. And I really wish I remember her name who actually um, told me about this. One of her teachers told her about it. And um, man, look at this. And that's such an easy way of making a line. 
I always to tell my students also use a pencil, use a um, white pencil. This is just as good. I mean, this really is just as good. Let's use the ruler again. Don't have to lift it up, put a quarter underneath it or something or a dime. People used to put take dimes to their ruler. And look at that straight line on black. You can also do it on white, but white on white. Oh, that's pink, pink on white. You can kind of see it. But yeah, isn't that amazing? And it just, it's a great way to write your name on your, um, and a lot of you that don't like to use a pen to write your name. I mean, look at that. Ah, oh, it's so great. So get yourself one of these. They're a fine line painting pens. Uh, I'm going to have a link in the Amazon link below in the description of the thing and just grab yourself one. I think they're for, you get two of them. Again, you can also get the smaller ones. These are smaller. Uh, I don't know which one is the small. Let's see. There's two different sizes. This, oh yeah, see, this is the same size as this one um, when, it, when it comes to the width of the line. But let's see, I've never tried this one. Let's do some dark, some dark pigment. Just put that in there. It's a little bit smaller, like I said, so it, it, it holds a little bit less, but I don't know, I've never tried it and see, this is a really fine line. And this may be too, oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, is that fine? Is that fine or what? Oh my gosh. Look at that. You can't get much finer than that. This is a 0.25 um, size. And I just put the watercolor in, you know, right in there. And it still goes pretty far too. Look at this. Even though it's a smaller size. This one you buy as a set. You get the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.25. And it's about $20 for these two. And again, I'll put the link to both of these into the description of the, of the video. All right. So get yourself a line pen. I just can't believe it. You, no, no watercolor should not be without one of these. These are really the way to go. And um, take your other old ones, and you can still use your rigger for other things, and, and you can use your liner and all that stuff if you'd like. Um, but when, if you're doing a lot of lines, I really highly recommend the fine line painting pen. All right. See you next time. Follow me on Facebook and on YouTube. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.